Hey guys, today I want to have a look at the AccuSense. Uh, this is a Hig Vision camera. It's a fixed bullet. It says powered by Dark Fighter. It's a network camera. You can see it's got an f stop of uh, 1.0 ultra low light. Um, it can handle it and uh, human and vehicle detection and obviously it's waterproof. This can also take a memory card and it's PoE powered or you can power it with a power supply and it's a sturdy metal body so we'll have a look at all of that right so this is the this is the box that the camera comes in there you can see you can just scan that to download the application to control the camera so it says here it's a EXIR fixed mini bullet now what I want to do today is not connect this to a DVR or anything like that we want to set it up as a standalone camera uh, so just for somebody who wants to use this, put it in a spot, give it some power or whatever, uh, and internet. And just, um, it's not a wireless camera, so you do, you do need a network cable to give this internet. So let's get this out of the box and we can see what the build quality is and just how everything fits together. Right, today I'm doing everything by one hand. Uh, this is the memory card that I'm going to use in this. This is just a normal 16 gig memory card just to make it uh, work for um, the video purpose or the pur for the purpose of the video let's get this open okay the camera itself has got a little watertight gland that you can put over the cable connection uh, that just fits over this little plug so you can plug your ethernet cable with power in there or you can power it with a plug. I just touched this and it fell out. And this is just a little rubber to keep the plug watertight. Uh, just make sure you put this, or you secure this nicely so that it doesn't fall out. Um, <clears throat> it won't be a good thing if this port gets wet or uh, any dirt inside of it. Let's get the let's get the camera out of the box. I'll just have a look now at the camera. Also in here we get a few screws with some of those ELT plugs or wall plugs. Also in here you get uh, you get your Allen key. Uh, this is a special Allen Allen key with a, a T10 and a T20. <clears throat> just to be able to quickly unscrew the camera's little door. Also, just a little thing you can stick wherever you want to mount the camera, so you've got an indication of where to drill your holes. Right, so here's the camera. The whole camera is metal. The top, this part, even the bracket, everything on this Equivision camera is metal. And... Mm. The cable has got a little space here where it can be routed when you install it against the wall or if you put it into a roof, you can just put the cable straight into the hole into the roof. Right, this is a 4mm camera you've got in there and it's also got infrared. Um, at the bottom here you've got your space where you can reset the camera and you can install your memory card. There's also a little barcode there that you can scan to connect the device to your app. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to connect it to the network, wait for it to boot up, and then search for it on the app. So let's uh, get this plugged in and get the, some, uh, the, get the memory card installed. So we just use the little Allen key to quickly unscrew this. Right, once you've unscrewed it and you take it off, it's, it's uh, connected by a, by, by a little leash there, so it won't fall if it's, if it's on the roof. The memory card just installs with the pins to the front of the camera. Just clicks in like that. There's your little reset button if you have to reset the camera. And you'll see this little cover is also weather sealed, so the camera is waterproof. Uh, let's quickly get this tightened and then uh, switch on the camera. Behind here somewhere I've got a little PoE switch hidden. Uh, I'm just going to connect a cable straight into this camera and that'll power it and give it network 
uh, connection to my network and this does not receive an IP address automatically so we'll search after a few minutes and see if we can find the device with the application while I'm pointing pointing a camera at the camera I'm just gonna close it up so it thinks it's dark it'll switch on its LEDs and there you can see the camera is on you can not see it with the naked eye but uh, the video camera reveals it all right so let's just leave it uh, well all right so I've had the camera connected to the network for a while I'm going into my HIC connect application you'll see at the top there's a little plus sign you click on that and then you say you click on online device so it'll search the network you can see there's a camera it says inactive so this camera has been connected to the network for a while if I click on that I can click activate that will activate the camera I can give it a username and password this is where you should really concentrate and give it a proper password let's quickly do that okay so now the camera has been activated the network settings in here does not correspond with my network settings of or my router uh, because this is a manual IPA address I have to go into the little edit button tell it to use DHCP and save it and in my case it just says password incorrect or it fails now the easiest way to do that is actually with a desktop maybe change the password after the camera is activated you actually know now it's in this IP range 192.168.1. whatever 1.64 is the camera IP so to connect to that you can type that IP into your browser and then you can change the settings of the camera so let's quickly do that I normally just disable my mobile data I change my IP address of my phone to static I give it an IP address in that same range one dot you need to be something different 113 not 64 uh, the gateway and DNS doesn't matter at this stage but let's see if the phone will allow for that okay so I've saved my IP address I can go back to my browser and just type the IP address that I saw there of the camera 192.168.1.64 connect to that It'll bring up the login page you can just log in with the detail you just created I'm logged into the camera uh, let's just go to configuration you can quickly click on quick configuration immediately go to network the basic network settings is this IP address so the problem is this is not in your network it will not be the same IP address it will never fit your network to use the camera standalone you need to, de to activate DHCP or know a known or available IP address that you can use for the camera that will always stay the same if it's a DHCP address uh, that is fine we're just going to add the camera to the server in any case to the vision server so I've changed it to automatic and I can click save do you want to reboot yes so the camera will now reboot get a new IP a new IP address and we will search for that uh, in a few minutes let's just wait for the camera to reboot we're waiting while we're waiting for the camera to reboot let's quickly go back to our network settings and change our IP address back to automatic or DHCP so that I can also get a new address from the network that I'm connected to and the camera will be connected to all right that's fixed so I'm back I've got an IP address and I can go back to the HIC vision app I've, I've given the camera a few more minutes to boot up let's quickly see again if I click on plus online devices there we go so the camera is now 
in the same range as my network. Uh, just one thing, if I click now on the camera, I can add it to my uh, device. This will add the camera only with this IP address. Uh, this is not the ideal situation because this IP address can change when the power goes out or the router restarts or the camera restarts. Uh, it's not a fixed IP address. You now know that the camera IP address is 192.168.7.120. Go back to your browser and instead of the 192.168.1.64, just replace that with 192.168.7.120 if that is your camera IP address. Go to the camera, log in again, and just one more step to get the camera connected to the HIC connect server all right i can see myself at the moment so let's just go to configuration again you go to net you go to network advanced settings platform access at the top you can select hit connect and you can enable your camera give it a VR verification code so this can be any letters uh, 6 to 12 characters long just confirm that and click OK then you can click save now this will connect your camera to the HIC connect server that's more a cloud uh, more a cloud based kind of a connection and it'll be easier to add the camera to your device and see it from anywhere in the world at the moment the camera still shows offline let's just go back or go out of the um, menu and back in and now it shows register status is online so it is connected it is now part of the Higvision or he connect cloud then we can go back to the he connect application let's quickly just refresh on the online devices so i've refreshed so now finally we've got an active camera it's part of the network, it's got a DHCP address. You can click on the camera now and click way at the bottom on Add Device to HIC Connect Server. Once you click on that, it finds the device, it sees it's part of the cloud, and if you add that, just type your verification code you just created on the camera, click OK, and the camera will be part of your HIC Vision or HIC Connect app. There you go. So it says Adding Complete. So it shows you the camera name you can change that to whatever uh, let's just quickly call it uh, test cam i'm not a service provider so i'm just gonna skip this part at the top left top right i mean uh, there you go it shows test cam i can click on it and i've got my camera everything is working and this one has got the card in it so Let's quickly see playback. No footage yet. I think the camera still needs to be set up for that. So let's quickly do that. The SD card uh, is red at the top here. You can see underneath test cam. I go into settings. I go to my storage status. It's not initialized, the memory card. So I can initialize it. That'll format the card, get it ready for recording. Okay, my memory card is now formatted initialized if i go back uh, let's just refresh if i go out and back into settings uh, you can see that the storage status is now normal and now you can also see the memory card and the test cam is not red anymore it's now blue right so while you're inside of the your browser on your cell phone or your mobile device or your computer and you have typed the IP in, you've locked into your camera, just quickly go to storage under configuration and set the uh, motion for every day. Copy that to every day and save it so that there is green lines on each of those lines and uh, it shows that it's going to do motion recording. Um, otherwise, you're not going to record anything. To go back to the HIC connect app if i go into connect now uh, i've also added it as an ip camera 
um, uh, on that 7.120 but as I said that can change so if I go into test cam now and I click playback it's playing back and uh, that is a previous version of me uh, where I was busy setting up the motion and uh, let's quickly go to the end of the recording yeah there you can also see I'm busy on my cell phone and this is uh, possible to view locally on your network or if you're remote and uh, it's all working on a cloud-based or uh, some kind of a dynamic DNS connection to the camera f through the internet it's like a cloud-based thing like any desk or team viewer all of these things can work through firewalls and straight to the device so yeah that's the uh, the setup uh, if you want to connect your camera like this um, hopefully this helps uh, send you in the right direct direction and uh, just you know, if there's any issues or whatever these cameras is not easy to set up uh, it is a bit more advanced to set it up like this but it makes a good connection and you can always view your camera remotely if I go to my mobile or my Wi-Fi I can switch it off uh, the application will switch and there we go so shop thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day